I like to joke that my dad was so good at retirement, he did it several times. Retirement is the prize for all of your years of hard work. But what if it doesn't meet your lofty expectations? That can make you question yourself. Retirement depression is real and not often talked about. With the right plan and mindset, you can avoid it. You're not just retiring from your profession, you're retiring to something. We want you to retire to your happy place. Not sure what your happy place looks like? Our dream book exercise is a good way to start. List aspirational ideas you've had, no matter how long ago. This will help you tap into what inspired you back then and reconnect you to who you were outside of your career. Give your subconscious dreams the opportunity to float back up for a fresh perspective. The retirees who report being the happiest are those who had pastimes they started and knew they enjoyed while they were still working. They always wished they had more time to spend gardening or playing bridge or hiking or playing pickleball or volunteering. Once they retired, these activities expanded and brought them joy. On the other hand, waiting until retirement to start a new hobby that you never had time to try is a recipe for unhappiness. And from a financial perspective, accumulating all of the gear needed to take up photography or beekeeping or golf can be expensive. You might find out you don't really enjoy it, but you feel pressured to stick with it. And that can be destructive and demoralizing. Find your happy place by dipping your toe into a few new activities in the years leading up to retirement and see which ones feel like you. Once you are retired, don't let yourself be pulled right into something long-term that feels like a job. In the first year, I recommend saying no to any commitment with an indefinite term. Lots of people will want you to sign up for things. And if you want to say yes, make sure there's an end date attached. You don't want to jump right into any obligations that could drag on. When you're thinking about retiring to your happy place, consider the regular days that will come after you've gotten all of those lingering errands and household tasks out of the way and in between trips and holidays. What will your day-to-day -day life be like? Make a plan. But first, ask yourself how much structure you need. One friend found the key to her retirement with this trick. Each day, do at least one thing that's physical, one that's spiritual, one that's social, and one that's intellectual. But maybe that kind of structure is too rigid for you. Another friend decides each year on her birthday what new things she will learn in the next 12 months, and then she builds around that. So far, she's learned fly fishing, Chinese calligraphy, Elizabethan history, and scuba. Is that too much? Something more simple might work instead. Maybe if you spend two days in a row at home, the third day, you go out. The key is, it's all about you. Find the things that will fulfill you and make up the mosaic of this new chapter in your life. That is how you retire to your happy place.